All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson 15. And in this lesson, we're moving from the previous lessons where we were talking about parallel lines. Now we're gonna be talking about perpendicular lines. And the idea is perpendicular lines form a 90 degree angle. And so the idea is, but how do we construct those? So we're gonna use um, our slope triangles that we've been using in previous videos. And we're gonna use those to construct and understand how to construct perpendicular line. So let's get started. So we're going to start uh, by looking at this right triangle, this slope triangle, and the idea I've color-coded because I want us to understand that the green angle plus the red angle, these two angles combined, equals a 90 degree angle. And there's a couple of ways we can prove it. We can prove it by folding the right triangle on itself and you'll notice that the green and the red angles can come together to create a 90 degree to perfectly fill in this 90 degree angle so we want this uh, we want to recognize that the green plus the red equals 90 and so then the reason for that is when we take two of these slope triangles and if we rotate it and put the red and the green angle next to each other, now we can see that we know that the red plus the green equals 90, plus this little thing makes a half circle. So we now know that this angle right here, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is equal to 90 degrees. So we have just created perpendicular lines because if I could, if I wanted to, now let's grab a blue and let's make it a little bit thicker. So now I see that this line right here, created by this hypotenuse, is perpendicular to this line created by this uh, hypotenuse. And there is our 90 degree angle. So we have created, using a couple of slope triangles, uh, identical slope triangles, we have created perpendicular lines. And you take one slope triangle and leave it there, and then you take this one and you can rotate it, and that gives you a perpendicular angle. Not a perpendicular angle, perpendicular line. So here we're going to circle the, the line uh, segments that appear to be perpendicular, and since we're doing this informally, uh, if your students have some disagreements, that's okay, as long as they are using some proper definitions and displaying definite, um, a distinct understanding of what perpendicular line segments are. So I'm kind of looking and I'm saying, well, these definitely look like they are perpendicular. I'm not sure about this one. There might be some argument over that one. So let's circle it in blue because that one might be an argument. But it, it seems to me the rest of these are definitely not perpendicular. This one is iffy, but these ones really seem certain to be perpendicular. And remember, perpendicular are when two lines form 90 degree angles. So here we're supposed to uh, use our right triangle templates to draw at least three different sets of perpendicular lines. So the idea is uh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take two uh, right triangles, and I'm going to put one in any configuration. It doesn't matter where. All right. And then using this side as my straight edge right here. Uh, in fact, I could if I wanted to. Let's do that. Let's just kind of continue the straight edge, go in this direction. There we go. And so now, whoa. So now I'm going to uh, take my other right triangle and I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to take it from this configuration to this configuration and now what I have done is I know that that red and the blue angles have joined together to form right here a right angle and so our right angle is, and I'll do it in green, our right angle is right here. Boom, boom. There is our right angle. There's other, and then essentially, because we're being asked to draw 
three sets. So basically, and then you're going to pick up your right triangles and you're going to move them around and you're just going to repeat that process three times and each time you're going to get this beautiful uh, right triangle. So we're going to continue that process, only this time we're going to draw our own right triangles as needed. So you can see this triangle, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And so you can see that we have what's suggested, we have a line segment, and we can see the suggestion right here of a right triangle. All right, so there is our suggestion for a right triangle. And so what we could do is we could take that right triangle and duplicate it and then um, rotate it. And so I'm going to take it, and if I rotate it, I get right there. Boom. So there you can see in my right triangle, basically I have two acute angles. I have a really small one and a bigger one. So I'm going to take the bigger one and I'll put it kind of next to the smaller one. So there's my two angles, and then I've formed my right, my perpendicular angles right here. Boom, boom. There is my perpendicular angle. Now, kind of a way you could see it is you can see that, hey, so here is 3 and 1. So it went down 3 over 1, and then you could see we went over 3 up 1. And so you can kind of see the beginnings of a nice little pattern going on. 3-1-3-1, three, one, three, one. you're going to see that uh, show up on often, actually. So, in fact, let's take a look at that. Let's look at D. So, if I look at D, I can see that using my right triangle, I see, there it is, all right? And then, if I wanted to, I could take that right triangle, and I can duplicate it, and I can uh, rotate it. All right, so I can take it and I can rotate it right here. And there, I can now see my beautiful right angle right there. I see a set of perpendicular lines right there. Now, what's the pattern I want you to see? Well, I can see that here's a three, here's a two, here's a three, here's a two. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's three. It's, down, it's got a height of 3 and a length of 2, and then here it's got a length of 3 and a height of 2. So you can see 3, 2, and then 3, 2. All right, talking about our height and length of each of these rectangles. So here we're going to draw two uh, different lines that are perpendicular. Now, a couple of, uh, well, one way to do it is to do what the Eureka Math has been saying, which is to say, well, let's find our triangle. So uh, I can see that we go through a perfect point right here, and we go through, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then up one. One, two, three, four, five, and then up one. Okay, so I can see right here the our triangle. It's going over here, 5, and then up 1. So there is our right triangle template, right? And I can take that, and I can duplicate it, and then I can um, rotate it. I can rotate one of them. I'll take this one, and I'll rotate it. So you'll notice here's the small acute angle and the bigger acute angle. So I'm going to take that small um, acute angle, and then the big acute angle, and I'm going to try and put them together. Boom. And there is my 90 degree angle. Now I believe if I want, well, I'll do it this way. Okay, so there is my 90 degree angle. All right. So there's my angle. I mean, my right triangle, slope triangle. And I just move it over here. And there is my perpendicular angle angle. Now, there's another way we could have done it. And the other way we could have done it is we could have just drawn a right angle. Here is our right angle, or a right triangle. All right? Now, because I know that this angle is a right, right angle right here, I'm a 90 degree angle, I can take it and I can put it and have it sit anywhere on this line, anywhere, and if I put it right 
here. Let's say I put it right there. Okay, now automatically that makes this a 90 degree angle, which is perpendicular to the original line. So that's another way you could do it, is just take any old right angle, right triangle, and slide it on there, and every, wherever it is, it's going to be making a pair of perpendicular lines. And that wraps up 5th grade, Module 6, Lesson 15. We are constructing perpendicular line segments on a grid using our slope triangle. Ooh, that's an ugly one because it's supposed to be 90 degrees. So using a slope triangle, there it is, that's better. This one's no good, um, with our little 90 degrees.